one of the things I tell people is you have to understand is that there is actually somebody out there. You got to understand two things. You got to understand that every moment that you spend resting, sleeping, and complaining, there's somebody out there with the same LSAT score as you, the same GPA as you, that's going to be working while you're sleeping. So if you never forget that process and always go home, then you're going to be putting yourself in the best position to be successful. That means all the time, even after you submit your resume and your application. I'll give one quick tip before we go ahead. One thing I would recommend for you guys to do when applying to law school is I would encourage you to even after you submit the rest of your application, continue to add to your legal experience. You may say, why? Well, you know what? That gives you an excuse to reach out to the law school and provide them with an updated resume. And you know what that does? That helps you stand out from everybody else who's applying to law school. That also gives you an opportunity to do something that's a little bit different. And in this case, if you're competing when the competition is this high, that little bit of something extra will be the difference between you getting accepted, waitlisted, or potentially having to apply again next year. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.